Hi guys, DCR2 here, and I'll be doing another deck profile for today. Uh, this time with my Crystal Beast deck profile. Uh, I've been working on this for a while now, and yeah, uh, I'll be doing a deck profile on it. Uh, the uh, I've put a, uh, a player's preference for this one, for part of the monsters, but anyway. And a few sh the extra deck in the way. Uh, anyway, let's begin. Uh, for the Crystal Beast, I run. Three Sapphire Pegasus, what uh, searching to get rid of uh, your uh, Crystal Beast. What you want to do with Pegasus is, you want to search out Ruby quicker, place it on the field first so you don't draw it. It's a, uh, that's pretty much how Sa Sapphire Pegasus works in this deck. The other Crystal Beast I run is uh, three Topaz Tigers, for that uh, extra 1600 or say 2000 beta. This card is great uh, for uh, beat sticking away, I guess. As for the other Crystal Beasts, I run two Mammoth for that uh, guidance of the attack. And also a good Crystal Beast. Good 1700 beta, in a way. And the last two Crystal Beasts I run is two Rubies. Because uh, you want Ruby. Well, obviously, you run about two in this deck. Because uh, Ruby's effect is allows you to special summon other Crystal Beasts from your Spell Trap card zone if you uh, special summon this. Uh, two is good, three is a bit cramped, so I run about two. As for tuners, I run uh, two Gen X Ally Birdman. This card's great yeah, when you're uh, combining it with uh, Pegasus, because when you return Pegasus to hand, you can use Pegasus effect. Pegasus effect again by normal summoning it once again and then ditching out another crystal beast. It's really good and also gains fiber and shark if you use it if you use a wind type. And it's good level three air uh, ranked uh, level three tuna monster. Also run one scrap beast for that level seven or eight type of synchro, I guess. It's good since it's level four and it can easily be brought back by another monster's effect, which I will explain in in the extra deck. I run two Thunder Kings for that uh, draw power, well, disabling draw power, because you don't really draw much in this deck, uh, add much to the deck. The only thing you have to worry about is by getting uh, Rainbow Ruins and uh, Pod Duallys, but anyway, I run Pod Duallys in this, just to let you know. Uh, I run one Summoner Monk. I don't run two because it's a bit cramped. Uh, I don't run, because you don't want to dead draw another Summoner Monk. So I generally run just one. For player's preference, you can either run one Lefix Cyber End Dragon or one Haman. Uh, either one will do, depending on which one you own. Uh, personally, I'd go with the Cyber End for a beat stick. Uh, Haman's only used for control based, so yeah. I run Haman only for control based. As for the spells, I run three Rainbow Ruins. Basically, a broken card for any Crystal Beast player. Its effects work for each uh, number of Crystal Beasts you have in your spell trap card zone. So, yeah, it's really broken in a way. I also run about two Terraformings. I thought one was enough, but two is actually quite good. Because you want to get out, search out that ancient city quicker. So, yeah, I run about two Terraformings, not just one. Because you need it out ASAP. Uh, for the crystallized uh, spell cards, I run two blessings. For that, uh, if you have crystal beasts in your graveyard, you want to put them into the uh, spell trap card zone ASAP. Also, run two blessing for that uh, special summon power. If you control two uh, crystal beasts in your spell trap card area, you can special summon another one. Bring out another Pegasus or a Ruby. And also, run two crystal promise. If you have Crystal Beast in your Spell Trap card zone, you can use this uh, to uh, basically bring out Ruby and Special Summon the other Crystal Beasts in your Spell Trap card area. I run one Abundance. I tried, well, two is a bit stuffed, I reckon. I only run just one. As for the drawings, I run two Pod Dualities for our draw power. For the staples, I run two MSTs. For back row destruction, and the other staples I run one Monster Reborn, one Dark Hole, 
and one book of moon for that stable wish cards, I guess. As for the traps, I run about two horn the Phantom Beast. Uh, in my opinion, I don't really run crystal. What's it called? Crystal. I don't know. Is it crystal release? That's it. I don't really run crystal re release in this deck, so I prefer my opponent to actually ram into one of my crystal beasts for the effect to work. It won't work against Ruby, but it works against the other ones. Basically, they ram into. Basically, they try attack my own crystal beast. I activate this trap card. They attack. The damage. The step goes through and then I draw a card afterwards. Really good effect. Each time I draw, uh, each time I destroy a monster with uh, this equipped to my crystal beast, they, I get to draw an extra card. It's pretty good. And also for the other traps I run two torrential tributes. But uh, monster destruction and quick easy access to my uh, crystal beast spell and trap card area. Uh, for the extra deck I run one cyber end. Personally, if you don't run Cyber End Dragon, Malefic Cyber End Dragon for the uh, main deck, I uh, take it out for another XYZ or Synchro, depending on what your play, pre play preference is. Excluding XYZs, I run one Levier for the rank freeze, one Love Iphon for the uh, rank freeze, Tem Tempo for basically trolling Zen mains, pretty much, and uh, Zen mains. As with rank fours, I run two Utopias. Uh, I decided to run two because one was a bit clogged, I guess, because I tried something out so many Utopias, it didn't really work out. Uh, work out one. Uh, the other rank fours, I run one Shockmaster, uh, one Photon Papal Operative, and one Maestrick for that uh, rank four defense and control. As for the synchros, I run one Gravity Warrior for rank for level six. For level sevens, I run one Zen uh, Z-Man, the ape, actually two Z-Man, the Ape King, sorry. And for uh, level eights, I run one Stardust and one uh, Scrap Dragon. Scrap Dragon has a nice effect if you're using it in combine with uh, uh, Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. All you gotta do is have ru ruins and a crystal beast in your spell trap card area. Use a uh, scrap dragon's effect to target your uh, rainbow ruins and one of your opponent's monsters or cards on the field. Destroy them. Basically, but the thing is, with ruins, ruins can't be destroyed because it has uh, a crystal beast in the spell trap card area. So basically, it's a free, uh, free MST, I guess, or card destruction. Card destruction. No. Basically, it pop it pops the field, it pops your opponent's field, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's my Crystal Beast deck. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think of this competitive uh, Crystal Beast deck. See you in my next videos. Bye.